didn't really care about Eddie. Wyatt kind of grew on me though, but he's going to be that lovable stoner that you just you, you just can't feel guilty about. I mean, wait, that didn't make. He's just going to kind of grow on you a little bit. Vince, Shell, Bonnie. Hmm. I'm going to pick between Shell and Bonnie. Bland having a party. Bland having a party. I, I, I like to party. Let's go have a party. Looks like they're having a good time. Maybe maybe it'll be a little bit more lighthearted. Who knows? That American flag looks pretty torn up too. Red Steiner this time. All right. Oh man, 236 hey, days in. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. Wait, she that needs show? something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. I gotta wonder if Nate's gonna be in this one. Thanks. Like, he's just, is he just the common villain of 400 days? Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe, that's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman. You've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. Not right all now, right, Roman. All right. In that case, let's get back to work. Um, oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, what a sec. let's get to it. Was you was that get burned? Do the supply inspection. Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, sure. when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. That, uh, Boyd character, he looked like he was in Vern's, or Vernon's group. Did Just... you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Okay. All right. Just gotta sharpen them. They'll be fine. Cash register. Can I get a quarter? Is that a possibility? Who hey, knows Becca, what a quarter? Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. Money has no value in the apocalypse. Fair enough. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. That's cool. What the dino looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. All right, Stephanie. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. But I don't oh, want to. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Maybe there's a rat in the group. What? Nothing. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Cool. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. I think he wanted 
to be the watchdogs or help or something. I need to go that way, don't I? Or am I just gonna not? Uh, oh, okay. I need to go through that door. Cool. Fire extinguisher. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. That might be good. Coffee. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. I actually don't like coffee, so I'm good. Soda. This hasn't worked in a long time. Sad. Uh, can't expect the bowls. Oh, I can expect the soup. Smells good. Ah, yes. That, that'll be very pivotal. I can already tell. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Good. Use the pantry door. Okay. I get the feeling I'm gonna need, like, some... Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Oh, that's very important. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. I wouldn't either. Okay. Banana. Banana flavored drink. Oh, sweet. I don't want any of it. But banana flavored drink. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. Oh, watchdog, I get it. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. I get the feeling I ain't gonna want to know. Greedy son of a gun. Better not get too close. Probably re If I get too close, I get the feeling it's probably gonna result in game over. But that walker. Probably gonna be something startling. Like, wow. Um, you shouldn't have gotten that. God. What, what did it get? Was it a little animal? Ugh. What, what the heck is that? It looked like like a cow, or like a stuffed bear or something. I I can't really tell what it is. Uh, that doesn't really matter. We inspected it. They'll probably say what it is. I don't really know. This scenario is meh. Oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. You just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back... Eating a, a puppy. Oh. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman.
Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It's so care to be fair. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck this in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been a scout. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. Well, what's to stop him from coming back and armed next time? We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he, he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. He made us beat up that guy with the mustache and steal his boat. We did that. I've regretted it ever since. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie? Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? I'm with Boyd on this one. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us, that isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Give him some food, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. I wonder if we're gonna regret that. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. 
Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Oh, no. And anyway, woman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman hasn't taken any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Oh, man. I, I, I kind of like the scenario a lot more than the others, except for Russell, because he's a freaking man! But, um, man, Shell's... How come no one's watering these? Shell's scenario is kind of sad. And Boyd, man, Boyd was awesome. And then he died, and that was sad. I'm sad. Joyce. So this is what happened to the cancer survivors. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my oh. God. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. That's not good. Are they keeping her locked up in there? Is this really necessary? I'm guessing it is. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Because she's our best friend? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. It was wrong, and now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew. That could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Roman, you're kind of a jerk. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. 
She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. What would happen if I took the keys instead? You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell, it's time. Good drive you... away. Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Hey! Shell, get safe. I don't want to have to kill someone. We'll be safe. Damn it. It's our, our sister, man. She's got to be like... I don't know. I don't want her to lose her humanity. She seemed like she was ready to just be like, I'll, I'll kill her. But I don't want to like... Yeah. I, I'm with Shell on that. We got to make sure that she understands. There's still a slice of humanity left in the apocalypse and stuff. And uh, just drive away.